What is good, Nation? It's Stock J back with another video. And this one, I'm going to break down some important things about AMC stock, what's going on with SPY, Tesla, and just a couple of tickers. Talk about the settlement case for AMC and what the data is telling us and what you should be watching for, for tomorrow. As tomorrow is going to be a very big day for AMC, in my opinion. Firstly, I'm not a financial planner, though, so take none of this as financial advice. And don't forget about the Moomoo link. The offer ends very soon. Deposit $100 and you're guaranteed five free stocks with the $100 cash reward. Our friends in two days once again, check it out before they run out. With that out of the way, let's get on with the video. So for AMC right now, we're continuing to see AMC hold up quite nicely. It was actually holding above the 30 minutes 50 EMA quite nicely. Now it's starting to pop off a bit as AMC is up about 4%. And the question is, will AMC continue to pump or is this going to be temporary? And I want to break down just a couple of things. But first, let's talk about what's going on right now. AMC is currently facing off in court over the stock conversion. We don't have anything official just yet at the time I'm recording this. The judge of the court is basically going to be considering uh, approving a class action uh, settlement about this entire deal that AMC is working on to compromise the allegations against the company. And, you know, there's a lot of stuff going on. This is what led to more volatility in the price. If they resolve this, AMC will likely end up going forward with the conversion, the Ape conversion. Then after that, they're going to try to essentially do the reverse stock split. Now, that tends to not be a good thing typically for companies, not saying anything about it right now, but just typically that tends to show that companies are trying to, trying to artificially raise their share price. And they often do this to help raise more liquidity and more capital. So just wanted to note that. But I also want to talk about a couple of other things. Uh, for tomorrow, it's going to be a very, very interesting day because depending on where you are, Jerome Powell is going to be speaking again. At 2.30 a.m. Eastern Time, Powell is going to be speaking. Make sure you are ready for that. He's going to say some big things. Uh, we don't know exactly how the market will respond, but he has been quite hawkish lately. Today, when he spoke, the market slowed down a bit and he said things about how on earth, uh, you know, the economy is going to likely prevail. He mentioned that the economy is quite strong so far and there's still a lot of work to be done the fed may have to give us two more rate hike and two more rate hikes excuse me and and more things like that he was being quite hawkish so the market slowed down so he's going to be speaking again at 2 30 a.m eastern time uh for thursday so make sure you guys are ready for that powell is going to be speaking again then in the morning we have some gdp numbers coming out so we're going to find out what happened for q1 with some revised numbers then we have gdp uh, numbers followed by the initial jobless claims report coming out is going to be very important. And then we have the GDP sales report and other things like that. We also have one Fed speaker at about, uh, that's going to be about, let me think, one, two, about three o'clock p.m. Eastern time. Make sure you guys are ready for that. Uh, lots of stuff is coming out for tomorrow with Jerome Powell, GDP numbers, and then inflationary reports. Plus, we may get more insights on the settlements for AMC. So once we get all this data, once AMC gives us more news about what the judge is going to end up ruling, that's going to be important and it's going to affect AMC's volatility. So please be ready for that. If they end up going forward with this split, uh, this is eventually going to cause AMC to drop initially. So make sure you guys are ready for that and prepared. If it's delayed again, AMC is going to make a very explosive move to the upside. Nothing much is going on. Most are saying AMC is going to underperform. There's not much going on in the data. There's not much volume either. So now I want to break down other important things. AMC is popping as of right now. But for now, I mean, the whole market is just trying to hold up at the very end of the day. So I'm just going to be patient on this and see what happens with the settlement and just remind you guys that we have a lot of stuff going on. Now for SPY, if this thing breaks down, you're going to be watching the 250 EMAs as support. If they break, this thing has the potential to come down to like 433 and even lower levels than that. If it breaks up, watch some resistance in the 436 area. If it breaks above that, the 436.64, watch it get very close to about, it could approach 438 from there because there's not a whole lot of resistance there. And then after that comes 440. Now I have the level specifically drawn out right here. I know it's a little, it could be a little messy, maybe hurt some people's eyes, but uh, you can see the levels like this for scalping. So I, I usually keep these for the very smaller time frames. For Tesla, this thing is trying to hold above the 50 and the 200. It's currently in the mid 250s. If it continues to break up, you're going to be watching this thing test 260. Tesla has a lot of strength because of some bullish news that came out involving strong projections for their deliveries in both China and also overall from Deutsche Bank. So that's some good stuff for Tesla. I think this thing, I don't know how it's going to open because of Powell. So we could see some volatility tomorrow when the market opens. But later on, either later tomorrow or going into Friday, I think Tesla is going to rip to the upside and 
get its way back up to the high 260s, if not 270, because it's going to pump as it approaches its deliveries. That's what my view on Tesla is. For the triple Q, it's holding 363, but it keeps going. We have the next important level at 364.69. Then we have 366, 368, 370. If it breaks down, watch support at the 362.9 area. Three, I'm sorry, 362.69 area. That's the 15200 EMA right over here. If it breaks below that, watch the 361s, 360. Then after that comes 357.5. I don't see this thing dropping too hard. It could drop a little bit because of Powell in the morning, but then after that, it could start pumping again. We're just going to have to wait and see. I think Tesla could help pump this thing up, especially by Friday. So watch all of this very carefully. Anyways, for AMC stock now, last but not least, uh, actually GME, then AMC. I'm going to talk about GME just briefly, then AMC. Sorry about that, guys. GME got a nice bounce off the 50 EMA, trying to push up. The next resistance is going to be closer to about the 25 area. So we're going to be watching, can this thing break above 25 or does it get this rejection? I have quite a bit of resistance here. The next level above that is going to be 27.75. You can see on the chart historically. So if it breaks 25, watch 27.75. If it breaks down, watch 23.89 to potentially 23.76 as support. Last but not least for AMC, AMC is starting to pop at the very end of the day. She's above the 200 email in the 30 minutes time frame. And the next level to watch for is going to be very close to that 4.5 five area that's the next major resistance you can see right here this we have this imbalance right over here so there's a good chance amc may make her way up here this 4.53 uh, area if she keeps going uh if she stops depending on what happens with the lawsuit uh watch support at 4.22 4.1 uh four dollars and then 3.77 comes below that but i don't it's so far it has held above four dollars so it's not looking too bad now last but not least the last thing i wanted to say about amc is uh, it may cool off because of Jerome Powell in the morning. Then with the GDP numbers and initial jobless claims and anything like that, if the market pops, AMC could pop a bit. And finally, with this whole settlement, I don't know what's going to happen with the court case exactly. If it's delayed, AMC is going to pop. It's going to pump back to the $5. If it is not delayed and they go forward with, if they end up settling the claims and then they end up having to uh review and proceed with the ape conversion amc is going to drop again back to four if not even lower than that eventually so please be careful i want to warn you guys about that but lastly let's just talk about one more thing um i was really reflecting on the past uh you know couple of years uh with this whole amc community i was here for the many years i've been making these videos about amc uh, a lot of people have left the community. They just left. They, they didn't stay with you guys. But I've been here the entire time. And I just wanted to say that I really appreciate everyone. There were instances where I did not feel good about making AMC videos, seeing it just crashing so much. And there were times where I just, you know, I felt horrible, right? There were times where I didn't even want to talk too much about it, seeing it dropping and me just projecting more downside for it. But at the end of the day, I'm still here. And I want to do what's best for you guys. Let me just remind you all that I don't make any money or net. I make very little money off, off ad revenue. I make like 50 bucks a month or something off ad revenue. I make almost no money to do this. And I don't do this for the money. I don't do it at all for them. I don't really think about that. Uh, unlike a lot of other people out there who are part of this community, I'm not in it just for the money. I'm here because I care about you guys. I want to keep, to help keep you guys informed talk about the markets some specific levels that could help you and i want to provide value to as many people out there and that's why i will continue to do so as for amc i do believe amc has potential to run up in the future uh could this thing get like some kind of crazy squeeze to like ten thousand dollars i mean it's a possibility but it's very extremely unlikely it's going to squeeze that high because of how manipulated this thing is and this entire community is not something for me to be sad about. Seeing how low AMC is, I'm still happy. I'm happy because we were in this together from start to finish, right? And it's not even like a done play yet. It still has potential to squeeze. This thing could still run to all-time highs again. But it needs more buying pressure. It needs something to help it out. And for now, we just have to be patient. I also want to note that there's a lot of manipulation and us being together you know, through the fights, through all of this was, it was very uh, enlightening. It was very bold of us to be together. And not everything is going to go our way in life. So many people were hoping for a quick AMC squeeze. 
It didn't really happen that way. Instead, AMC dropped for many years. But a lot of people still held on and they did not give up. And they know this thing has potential and they know eventually AMC will see a squeeze to the upside. I believe it will eventually make a big move to the upside. I just don't want to talk about like all-time highs or crazy levels until we're closer to those levels. But I do believe it will run again. I do believe money could be made on this thing. I do believe there's potential in AMC. But I just wanted to say that I really appreciate you guys. Like I said before, I'm not making money off ad revenue. I simply do this for all of you because I care about the community. And I just want the best for everyone. I want to just keep you guys informed. I want you guys to know about what's going on. I want to help you by being as unbiased as possible. There are days where I talk about how AMC could pop. Other days where I talk about how AMC could drop. And I just like to read the charts. As I said, not too long ago, we had this imbalance right here. AMC is going to probably you know, pump to that high level. It's pumping right now. It's getting very close to it. There you go. Sometimes you could look at TA. Sometimes you could look at other things. You could see these targets play out. So for tomorrow, we may see some downside because of Jay Powell. He may cool us off in the morning, but then we could pump later on if this thing keeps going. Is there a possible like accumulation right over here before this thing starts running? It's a possibility, but I'm not going to stay very objective about that until we get more information about the settlement. So we have to wait for that first. All right. So with that said, I thank you all so much for listening. Please have a great day. You are appreciated. You are loved. And never, ever give up on your dreams. We are here together until the very end. AMC to the moon. His long term is still very bright. And peace out.